a hollow alloy tube 4 meter long with external and internal diameter 40 mm and 25 mm respectively was found to extend 4.8 mm under the tensile load of 60 kN to stop. Find the buckling load for the tube with both ends pin, pinned. To stop. Also find the safe load on the tube taking factor of safety as a 5 meter. So first of all, write down the given data. So length of tube it is given 4 meter. Length of tube it is given 4 meter. External diameter it is given. External diameter. External diameter. That is capital D is equal to capital D is equal to 40 mm. Then internal diameter it is internal diameter. Internal diameter that is small d. Small d is equal to 25 mm. 25 mm. Then extension of bar is that is delta L is equal to delta L is equal to 4.8 mm. Delta L is equal to 4.8 mm. 4.8 mm. When tensile load it is 60 kN. Tensile load. Tensile load. And cell load it is 60 kN. Okay. Find the buckling load when both the ends are pinned. And find the safe load. The factor of safety it is given FOS. Factor of safety it is 5. Okay. So first of all, write down the calculate area of this cube. Okay. So area it will be calculated pi into capital D square minus small d square. Capital D square minus small d square divided by 4. Capital D square minus small d square divided by 4. Is small d square. This one it is area formula for hello tube means hello circular tube. Okay, so pi it is pi into external diameter it is capital D. External diameter it is capital D. Capital D it is 40 mm. 40 mm, 40 square divided by 40 square, sorry, 40 square minus small d it is internal diameter it is 25 mm, 25 mm, 25 mm square, square bracket close divided by 4, divided by 4, divided by 4. Divided by 4. We will get area. Area is equal to if pi into capital D 40 square minus 25 square divided by 4. So it will be 765.765.765. 763, 763 mm square, mm square. So this one it is area of cube. Okay. Then next find out the moment of inertia. Moment of inertia. Moment of inertia. Inertia. Moment of inertia for hello cube will be pi. Pi. Okay. Moment of inertia. Moment of inertia. That is. 
capital I is equal to into capital D raised to four. Capital D raised to four minus 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 small d minus small d, d raised to small d raised to divided by sixty four divided by sixty four divided by sixty four sixty four Put all these values. I is equal to pi into in bracket capital D is forty raised to four. Forty raised to four minus twenty five raised to four. Twenty five raised to four. Twenty five raised to four in bracket bracket close divided by sixty four. Divided by sixty four. This one it is moment of inertia for cube. Okay. Calculate this one. I is equal to shift. Into in bracket in bracket forty raised to forty raised to four then minus twenty five raised to four divided by sixty four it will be one zero six one zero six point four eight eight into ten raised to the power three ten raised to the power C M M raised to four, M M raised to four, M M raised to four. This one it is moment of inertia. Okay. Then next find out, and next find out. So E calculate strain, strain that is E is equal to. Change in length to the original length. This will be delta L by L. Delta L by L. Change in length to the original length. Okay. Means strain. Okay. So delta L it will be four point eight mm. Delta L it will be four point eight mm. And length of column it is forty meter. Okay. Forty meter. That is will be converted in mm. Four thousand mm, four thousand mm. So it will be get strain from this. Okay. So strain is equal to four point eight divided by four thousand. So it will be one point two into ten raised to minus three. One point two into ten raised to the power minus three. Okay. So next stress calculate calculate stress sigma is equal to sigma is equal to Sigma is equal to P by sigma is equal to P by that is P, or you can say tensile load, tensile tensile load divided by cross sectional area, cross sectional area that is A, this A cross sectional area of this tube, this capital A, the tensile load it will be E one sixty kilo newton. Convert it is in newton, sixty into ten raised to the power three, sixty into ten raised to the power three newton divided by divided by cross sectional area of cross sectional area, it is seven sixty five seven sixty five point seven six three mm square. Okay. We'll get the stress from this. Write down stress is equal to stress is equal to 
Press is equal to press is equal to press is equal to sixty into ten raised to the power three divided by seven sixty five point seven six three. Ten to the power three divided by seven sixty five point seven six three. It will be seventy eight point seventy eight point three five three five three two newton per mm square. Newton per mm square. So now we need to find out the modulus of elasticity. Modulus of elasticity. Modulus of elasticity is equal to E is equal to we know that E is equal to sigma by raised by raised. Okay, raised by raised, raised by raised, raised by raised. Okay, so raised it is sigma. We are calculated it is seventy eight point seventy eight point seventy eight point three five three five three two. Divided by strain, it is strain. We calculated it. This one also. So it will be one point two. One point two into ten raised to the power ten raised to the power minus three. Minus. You so get modulus of elasticity is equal to divided by seventy eight point three five three two divided by one point two into ten raised to the power minus three. Minus three. Okay, it will be get sixty-five point sixty-five point two nine four three four into ten raised to the power three ten raised to the power three newton per mm square newton per mm square newton per mm square. Get this one. Modulus of elasticity. Now, Euler's formula. Euler's formula. Euler's. Euler's. Euler's trickling load. Trickling load. Euler's trickling load is equal to is equal to pi square e i. Pi square. I square into into e i i square e i by l e square l e square okay. l e square l e square. So this one it is Euler's formula. Boundary condition it is given. One end it is fixed and other end it is free. Okay, so I will note down. Let's put all this value here. So I will moment of inertia note down one zero six point four eight eight newton raised to the power t. Okay, so is equal to. Is equal to pi square pi square into 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 modulus of elasticity is sixty five point two nine four three into ten raised to the power three ten raised to the power three into I it is moment of inertia one zero six point one zero six point four eight eight into ten to the power three into ten to the power three divided by divided by L square. Okay, so actually boundary condition it is given both ends are similar. Okay, so that's why then boundary condition it is. First of all, write down boundary condition. End condition it is given. Both end is spin. End condition. End condition. 
both ends are pinned both ends pinned pinned both ends pinned so that's why l is equal to l l is equal to l okay and both ends it is pinned l is equal to l so that's why l it is 4 meter that is 4 meter means 4000 put all this value in newton mm here okay put all this value here in newton mm okay l is so here the pillar's crippling load that is pe Load, so pi square pi square into 65.2943 into 10 to the power 3 into 106.488 into 10 to the power 3 divided by L e square that is 4000 square so it will be 4.2 Again, four two eight eight point nine nine in Newton. In Newton, it is converted to it kilo Newton. P E kilo crippling crippling load is equal to four point four point four point two eight eight kilo Newton. Two eight eight kilo Newton. Okay. So next, find out the safe load. Safe load. We need to find out the safe load. Safe load is equal to 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 buckling load divided by factor of safety. Buckling load divided by buckling load divided by divided by factor of safety. The factor of safety. Factor of safety. FOS. Factor of safety. So buckling load it is 4.288 kilonewton. Factor of safety it is. Factor of safety it is 5. Factor of safety it is 5. 5. Okay. So you will get the safe load. Safe load is equal to 4.288 4.288 divided by 5. It will be get 0.856 0.856 76 kilo newton. Safe load it is 0.857 kilo newton. So this one it is Safe load when hollow circular tube four meter long and internal and external diameter forty and twenty five mm. 